Let's talk technologies then. So being um, being a bit of a gamer myself, I was delighted to see Epic Games uh, showcasing their Unreal Engine. Um, obviously not the first time that a entertainment or commercial um, software engine has shown its kit off here at ITSEC. Trevor, you said it was there's uh, been havoc, I think, previously. Nevertheless, uh, obviously, Epic Games with its Unreal Engine, it's a significant piece of software. We know that Raytheon's using it for its V22 um, uh, digital training system. Uh, so, yeah, just what kind of technology have you seen? What's caught your eye? Um, yeah, I guess going back to the extended reality sort of idea, we, I, we did get a good demonstration from, from Kratos. Um, I mean, I've got a, three or four sort of different configurations here. Um, the idea being that um, in their... Uh, their light rooms, you know, they, they cover the wall in sort of this either green or blue sort of tape. Um, you can you can see the simulation, you can, but then you can also see your own your own arms. Um, in one, they've got a um, you know a rear gunner of a CH-47, um, so you can obviously see the weapon. It allows you to do, you know, if the weapon was to jam, for example, you can actually carry out the steps to to unjam that weapon. Um, but then when you look around, they've got a virtual wall. You turn around, you, you'll see the rest of the simulated environment rather than seeing, you know, uh, the, the rest of the stand per se. So, you know, that tactile nature of being able to touch what's in in the configuration, um, that was really impressive. Also, for mine, um, I really enjoyed the Cruden Fast Boat Simulator. Um, that's a company that their background was in Formula One um, simulators. Uh, yeah, their line is that the the software they use to simulate the wheel, the tyre on the road is very similar to what they've used to simulate the hull on the water um, and you know where a lot of companies are coming at this from a sort of bridge simulator, you know big ships, um, you know theirs is coming from sort of that fast boat, fast craft um, and the you know the simulator the way it's kind of perched up on its uh, uh, actuators there it's, it's pretty impressive and it's always got a good crowd so. There have been a couple of things that have really got my attention um, one of them is MetaVR, which um, has brought a portable JTAC trainer, um, and they've integrated that with an F-18. So the F-18 simulator is very much like we were talking about earlier on, about um, being very uh, low cost. But the difference with between that and many other simulators here, low cost simulators, is they're not using gaming technology. They're using um, a sat a satellite and UAV derived um, terrain, so that's highly realistic. Uh, Triality was another company that um, made me smile. They've got a new glass mirror collimated display um, providing a 210 by 45 degree image, but they're only using one projector for that. And there are, of course, major um, cost savings. There are also long-term uh, ownership uh, improvements to that system. So it'll be very interesting to see how that develops. Um, Barco, although they've made direct view um, displays for a long time, mainly for the command and control sector, they were selected by Elbit to go onto the UK's mobile um, JTAC trainer with a very high fidelity, highly realistic um, flat screen display. And then, you know, we, we, we keep coming back to this VR, which I say, of course, is not new, but it's how you integrate that VR into the live training environment. And one of the things that Saab was showing is how they've inserted VR into their live domain. And they were showing uh, a Ford Observer trainer and they were also showing, showing a mortar crew trainer. And of course, those two can be combined. So you've got the FOO in the virtual environment, which is made up of the actual real environment, and he can bring down fire on targets to his front. And the same applied to a spike trainer that they've got, again, using the uh, digitized real terrain that they're training on to engage targets out to four kilometers. So, you know, that trend of inserting more um, virtual into the live continues. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to being back here in 12 months' time to see if there's any any changes to the to the uh, to the market and the kind of systems that are being showcased. But for this, thank you very much.